Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today is part two of the new releases from Lisa Eldridge and today we are going to hit the lipsticks and the glosses, but I want to do a little bit more about the blush. So I decided Dante's Dream is just, I love it. There's something I love about it, but I was having issues with Pink Poetry. I really wasn't sure if it was right for me. So I wanted to give it another go. You might remember I did Venetian Red at the end, right around here, to go with the Dante's Dream, and I thought I'd do the same thing with the Pink Poetry. And, well, I actually did yesterday when I was done with the video. I needed a break from editing and I came to play in here, which is something I tend to do. And I used the Pink Poetry. I'm gonna show you how. So right now, Dante's Dream on the cheeks and on the lids and swirling this on my hand and then taking off any excess. And I'm just going to put it right here, just a little bit. I think with this blush, all of the blushes, but this color in particular, control. Where many things you just kind of put on and it, it works out, with this one, you can get too much pretty easily. Now trying to make an uneven face even. And I still have the Dante's Dream on, but now there's some livingly, <laughs> enlivening going on. I'm just gonna take a little bit more and put it on the eyes. I oftentimes say the hood area right here, or the brow bone you might wanna call it, is the cheek of the eye. And putting a little blushy kind of color there can be lots of fun and youthful and lovely. Now, here's something that Lisa did not mention. You can put these on your lips. It was really comfortable with the Dante's Dream. By the way, I'm going to take my hair down at the end of the video to see what it looks like. I get a feeling. It's not going to look anything like that style I did yesterday. But it's just too hot these days to do videos with my hair down. It makes me 10 degrees warmer. There, a little on the lip, a little on the cheek, a little on the eye, and now I'm feeling a lot better about Pink Poetry, and that's a good thing. So let's talk about the lips. She has six new lip colors in the luxuriously lumescent notes. Six new lipsticks in the luxuriously lucent formula. She only had one in this formula before, and that was called Love of My Life. I believe that came out two summers ago. It was summer pink, so Rainbow Spill was in there, and, oh, if I can't remember, Skyscraper Rose, another tongue twister for me, and a couple of other shades. Holly Go Lightly, I mean, Go Lightly was in there which has not been re-released as a lipstick, unfortunately. Of those, only one was a lucent formula, and that was Love of My Life. So she has six, and I got five? Does that sound right? <laughs> oh my God, me and math, best friends. I, I will tell you this, there are two colors I did not get. I didn't get Spirited Away, which I kind of regret, now that I've seen it on other people, but I'm not sure if I really regret it. I need to see some more. And I didn't get, I think it's called Cherry Bomb. Atomic Cherry, same thing. Atomic Bomb, Cherry Bomb, you can see the association, right? There we go. I had a gloss up in there. I got four. I got Painterly. Rose Official. Kitten Mischief Dance Card. So these are the colors that I got. This formula, Lucent, has a sheen to it. It is sheer, buildable sheer, but it's never sheer to full opacity. I've also found that these have a staining quality to them. Because they're sheer, the way it looks on me and the way it looks on you could be two different things because the color of your lips plays into it. And when you look at Lisa's video, 
there was one instance that I can remember where she, it seemed like she might have powdered down or put a little foundation on her lip and or did liner all over the lip, but it's worth noting I have noticed in the hundreds of videos I've watched that Lisa has produced, her lips are pretty fair. There's not a lot of color in them and mine have a little bit of color in them and as we move along they'll have more color. So I'm going to start with the lightest shade but this one which is Dance Card definitely has stained my lips. That's just one little bit. It gives you just the teeniest bit of color. Now I'm going to go a little bit more. And that was one, two, three, four, five, both up and down, upper lip and lower lip. And that's about as much opacity as you're going to get. I feel for me personally, this means maybe a lip liner or something. The first time I tried it on was, of course, three minutes after I opened it. And it was about five o'clock. So the light is much, much different. Each room here, different. This room faces north, but it has a retaining wall. I don't get direct light, but I get a lot of bounced light. The bathroom faces northeast, but more north than east, because I never get sun directly in that room either, but there's a lot more bounce. Just every room looks a little different. And this looked very, very pink on me, which surprised me, because online it looked more coral than pink. I have corally pinks. I like them. I have Charlotte Tilbury's Amazing Grace, which I believe has changed its name to something else with the word Grace in it. I believe Grace Kelly was the inspiration for that. And I thought, well, this would be like that, except the emphasis on the coral, where Amazing Grace is the emphasis on peak. But what it looks like to me depends completely on the light I'm looking at it in. I am now seeing the coral, where before I did not. It's springy, it's fresh, it works with this. I just feel, for me personally, and this is just me, so you're here to see the color swatches, and, and I'm here to see, does it work for me? I feel like I might need a liner to go with this. It's very comfortable. So this is my first experience with her Lucence, and it is comfortable. I am princess in the pea when it comes to lip products. I'm very, very aware of weight of products on my lips. I'm aware of something that is sticky, of heavy, of drying, of goopy, of too much dimethicone. I think I'm more sensitive than other people because I've seen videos where people say, oh, this is great, and it's not uncomfortable at all, so I buy it. I'm like, no, it really is uncomfortable. So I'm fussy about that. I don't find this to be uncomfortable. So if you were like me, I think you might like this. Let's do the next one. I've taken that off. You know what? Not too much of a stain. Interesting. The first time I tried these, definitely got a stain. This is Kitten Mischief. And Kitten Mischief, I think, she didn't tell a story about it, but I think it has something to do with her cats. She's a big cat person, and she has beautiful cats. Beautiful. Now, I didn't know she had three. I thought she just had Betty until she got Ted. And it seems to me that she likes Ted more than she likes Betty. And I'm a little, I'm a little hurt by it. But then I heard her mention she has three cats. So one of her cats is never on camera, never around. Ted is the star of the show right now. And Betty, I, under the impression Betty's a little bit of a diva. Anyway, I have a feeling her kittens have something to do with this name. Now, I believe that Lisa has said that she created this color for herself, that she had been looking for a color like this, couldn't find one, and so made it for herself, and that she has worn it every day for months. While Dance Card, she said, was inspired by Dance Cards. So Dance Cards have actually been around for a couple of hundred years. If you watch some old black and white Betty Davis Plantation in the South movies, you'll see that the women used to wear these um, cards that look like little booklets. They fold it open on their wrists and a little pencil. And if a gentleman wanted to dance with a lady, he would have to, you know, make a reservation. And 
you would be put in the dance card. And apparently that went on through the 50s. So she wanted something kind of retro, kind of 50s. I don't read this as 50s to me, but she's the expert. She knows about colors and makeup for every single decade. I don't. To me, it's kind of 60s. But there you go. That's those two colors and the background story for that. I think this is a lovely neutral color. It has a little bit of warmth and a little bit of pinkness, but it's not to one thing or the other. It's the kind of color you could go to when you just don't know. <laughs> what do I want to do? I don't know. Put this on and you're going to be good to go. Kitten Mischief. Rose Official, or I'm sure I'm saying that, you know, we would say official, but there's an I in it, so official, but I do an S instead, because in some languages the C is an S. Rose Official. This color I was not so sure about. I decided on this over-spirited away, and I'm not sure that I have done the right thing. I'm not into blue-toned so much because I think I had it to death ages ago. I did a lot of rosewoods and now I'm kind of like, uh, I'm not really into the rosewoods. Or this kind of color. I can't remember how she described it, but I think this is the color that she said was a vibrant modern rosewood. But it's not bad. To me, it is reading a little bit pink. It, I mean, it's called rose, but rose can mean anything. People name things rose that don't look pink. Um, I think it's a perfectly lovely, but again, it's not about me. It's showing you what it looks like on my skin tone. Rose official or rose official. That doesn't sound right. Now, painterly, I think was the darkest one and it seems to me it belongs in that family of Dante's Dream and Venetian Red. It has a lot more depth to it and more brown to it. Let's go in. There's something about this color that I particularly like. I think this is the one that she says is like a bitten lip and I would agree, maybe not bitten because mine would turn more pink, but like a swollen lip, you know what I mean? A little bit of, mm, well there's, let's face it, I'm going to say the thing that people don't say. Swollen lips are um, associated with sensuality, let's say. Let's just leave it at that. And um, I don't know. I think this kind of does it. I can see this color being one that I use the most often out of all of these when my feeling is I'm not sure what lip to do. But it's okay if I go a little bit dark because this is a little bit dark, but I kind of don't mind something that's a little bit dark because it's, it's just not too dark. Again, really, really comfortable, very neutral in the fashion that there's not too much white and there's not too much brightness to it, but not neutral as in boring, I've seen it before, because I haven't seen any of these colors before. Painterly. Now you can see all these beautiful colors. I mean, this is actually kind of pretty. This is a nice like abstract here with these different kinds of pinks, some with a brightness to them. I think that is my blush. And then the lip colors. Gosh, that's pretty. That is the palette, and it's awfully pretty. Now, let's talk glosses. There are four new glosses. One of them is a lavender kind of a thing, which I oddly have. It's such an unusual color. And one of them, of now I'm going to be doing this from memory. Um, well, let's just say this. I got one. <laughs> <laughs> One of them sounded interesting to me, and that is Songbird. She said she based these on the kind of lips from, I think she said 70s or 60s songresses, songresses, songtresses. Tough word. And then she named a couple of people who were big in Europe. One of them was French. I think one was the last name Hardy. 
I, I don't remember. But one of them, her daughter's an actress now, and her husband was a singer too. And oh, Jane Birkin. <laughs> okay. Um, so that kind of scared me because when I think of that, I think of a pink lip that has a lot of white in it and has a bubble gummy kind of look, which, you know, not my thing, but this is being made by Lisa Eldridge. So I'm thinking probably not going to go to that land. And this is it. Let's do a little hand swatch. Songbird. And the last time she had a new release, I bought Muse, which I think was probably my favorite. So I went ahead and got the Muse in the gloss. It's something special about it. And that's Muse. So let's just go in with Muse first, because I think I'm going to finish this whole thing with Songbird. Muse, to me, this is, maybe it is Rosewood, you guys. What's wrong, Lucy? But I see a brownishness in there too, so it doesn't have too much blue. To me, Rosewood has a blue undertone or a gray undertone, sometimes both. Hi, princess. I'm almost done, baby. And lovely. I'm not a big gloss person. I find most glosses to be too heavy, if not tacky, sticky, icky. I don't like them very much. My favorite formula is from Viseart. But this is not bad, especially I find if you put a lot on. If you just put a little on, it feels a little uncomfortable to me. It probably won't to you. But I love this. This is news. And my lips are getting deeper and deeper and deeper. So this, again, what it looks like on you might be a little different. But a lot of people do have a lot of color in their lips. When I was trying these on yesterday, I felt like this might be my favorite one, even though I really love, love the Muse. This is another one where I feel like it's just, I don't know what to do. It's summertime. I don't want to do a bright lip, which I love to do a bright lip in the summer, but I want a little something summery, and maybe this is the way to go about it. But you know what you're going to do? I'm going to take this off and put a little foundation on my lips so you can get another idea of what this color is. Hi. This is why I don't like nudes. <laughs> Yikes. I think actually that's the best I'm going to be able to do, but let's go over with Songbird again. Now I can see there's a peachy pink going on here. I really, really like this. It doesn't look fantastic because I do have a creamy foundation concealer on underneath it, but I think you can kind of be, if you are a person who's uncomfortable with nudes like I am, this might be a way to get there. Just like, I have to say, I love this Westman Atelier, which is sold out and apparently limited edition. And I love these from Westman Atelier that kind of give me that same thing where it's a nude for beginners. It's a nude with training wheels. But the Westman Atelier doesn't stay on your lips very long. It, it's more like a lip conditioner, where this one feels more like a gloss, and you're probably going to get a little bit more wear on your lip with Lisa's formula. And that's it. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me. I hope it was helpful. Oh, shall we? let's just take down the hair to see. After, you know, I did that whole thing yesterday with the curling iron and then I pinned it up so it would keep the curl and I have to say I used a heat protectant spray. You guys, I'm not huge on hair product, but my hair feels really rough and dry now. Do you get that from heat protectant sprays? Because then I looked at the ingredients and there's alcohol in it. Why would I want to put alcohol on my hair? So anyway, that's just, I'm just curious to know if you have the same experience with heat protectant sprays. But yeah, I mean, I, I still got a little something funky going, but it's not what I had yesterday. Fascias. That's it. I hope this was helpful to you and you got a good idea of what these colors look like on my skin tone, on my lip color, and if they might work for you 
None of these, as of now, are sold out. They are still available. And somebody who watched my last video from yesterday told me that Lisa did say that the blushes are coming back. I don't know where she said it because I do follow her on Instagram, but you know, I'm kind of a Luddite when it comes to Instagram, so I I totally could have missed that. But those will be back and these are not gone, but I'm about to be. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope it was helpful and I hope you come back again. If you wouldn't mind, if you've made it this far, maybe give me a thumbs up. That would help me a lot. It would kind of tell YouTube people like me and maybe they push me out a little bit more so I can grow a little bit faster and pay for all these products that I am buying for this channel. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you're new, maybe even hit subscribe or watch a couple of videos and decide if I don't make you crazy and I might be worth a follow. Until we meet again, be safe and smart, and I'm wishing you good health.